You're going to do this with your eyes closed. And close gently and relax. And what I want you to do first is begin on the senses. Now, before you do, sorry, uh, the emotion was what? Anger? Mm -hmm. And you said anger and the other one was fear? But no. No, it was sadness. sadness. Okay. So here's your line of dialogue. And I give you a line of dialogue so that uh, we don't hear anything. And I don't want to know what went on and what. I don't want you to say, no, Bobby, don't jump! Or something. Um, when you feel your emotion peak, what I want, or poor Fluffy, I want you to say whatever I give you, which is completely arbitrary. And usually my lines are brilliantly written. So, um, your line of dialogue is for anger and mixed with sadness. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Okay? Three whys. Um, does that work? Could you imagine saying that? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So, you won't say that line unless and until you feel your emotion, in this case, most likely it will be anger. It may be the sadness that overrules, we'll see, you know, or it could be something else. But when you feel completely full emotionally. Of that, with that with, emotion. With the with any emotion. Okay, okay. Right, yes. right, right, right. Yes, whatever emotion fills you up. Yep. You'll know, all right? The worst thing you can do, the way that I teach this, the worst thing you can do is say that line when you don't feel emotionally full. If you don't get there during this exercise, and you very likely will not, it's okay. Don't say the line if you don't feel the emotion. You should really feel it. So, I think that's everything. So, if, if you do feel the emotion, which you're not going to focus on, if you do feel it peak, even while I'm talking, say the line and interrupt me. Mm -hmm. Okay? But don't focus on the emotion. After I finish my talking, I will be quiet for a little bit, and you can keep working at it, what we've just accomplished. And with see my if, eyes closed? Mm -hmm. It's better with your eyes closed. Just go to the stretch. As I take him through it, this is what I would have you do. Okay? All right. So, relax, close your eyes, here we go, nice and easy. All right. And I want you to imagine that, first of all, that you were back in this place. That you were wearing the same clothes you wore on that day. That you can feel those clothes on your body. I want you to be aware of the temperature and the humidity, how that feels on your skin, and those clothes you're wearing. I want you to really, not just remember it, but focus on trying to feel it. Sensually, not emotionally. Sensorily, right, sensorily. I want you to really try and feel it as though you were there. As much as you can, and now I want you to add in the smells. Were there any smells? What did it smell like? Try and actually smell that. Not losing sight of the temperature and all the other things. Really feel like you're there. You can also feel your surroundings. If you have like a, a big boulder behind you or a wall if you're inside, you, you can feel that behind you sense that it's there. I want you to use those senses. I want you to see everything that was there. Really look at it in detail. And I want you to hear everything. Including what was being said. And I'm going to be quiet and I'd like you to focus simply on all those senses. So you 
felt like you were emotionally full? Yeah, it didn't come out the way I felt. I don't yeah, care I how it came out. Yeah, it doesn't matter how it comes yeah. out. It doesn't matter, because I wasn't really paying attention to how it came out either. What, I, what I'm wanting to know is, did you feel... I felt it full of emotion. Right. You might have said a little too soon. You might have. Yeah. I don't know. But we'll try it again. Not, not now. But this is one you can try again. If it works, and you can see it building in his eyes, and the tension and the stuff in his face, right? All that. If it works, it should work again. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to try it again. Same process, same thing. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.